Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another Crafty Decor Adventure. Olivia with Olivia is Romantic Home. And in today's video, I am over the moon excited to share with you guys 10 DIY Dollar Tree beach lake style decor crafts. So I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And it is smack dab in the middle of summer. We are doing some summer fun like swimming at the pool and just generally sleeping in lay and being super lazy. Um, so I thought you guys might enjoy some beach lakeside crafts. Now listen, you don't necessarily have to use these to decorate your entire home, but you could add flares of these. They're also great ideas for bathrooms or kids' bedrooms, especially if you love that super little mermaid look. So you guys, thank you for being here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. If you subscribe and punch the bell, click all. It will update you every single time I post a new video. I hope you guys are staying cool and having a great summer so far. Hey, don't forget to pop over to my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page. I share several DIY videos a day over there. We're even popping in some kind of fall and Christmas here and there just to get our wheels turning on things. I know it's totally not time for it yet, but I am going to be collaborating with some Christmas um, ideas for the upcoming season. So the wheels are turning on this little mama right here. And listen, I do love to go ahead and start some of that fall and Christmas craft. Um, because it's so darn hot outside. But anyway, I love y'all. Let's get into the graphs without further ado. Let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafty. Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with y'all how to make a super adorable, really simple, beachy, summer little votive vase. So Dollar Tree is carrying kind of this larger vase, and I'm taking some of the Dollar Tree nautical rope, and I'm just hot gluing it in and around the base of the votive, and and that's going to create kind of that little beach bit of beach vibe, I guess. And really, you guys could use any kind of little string or pretty ribbon that you have on hand. It doesn't even necessarily have to be a beach vibe, but because it is almost summer, you guys, I'm just really feeling like some beach dreaming. And so if you can't be at the beach, why not create some crafts that make you feel a little bit more beachy and fun? So again, I just added some nautical rope to the base of this. I didn't want it to go too far up because I am going to be popping a candle into it and then now the fun part comes where you guys can just decorate it you could add some bling I'm gonna add some of these seashells and I will tell you I do love this pack of seashells from Dollar Tree because there were so many different sizes and they had this smaller little seashell and so I was able to just really kind of mix and match and add tons of goodies to the front of this Now the other thing you're going to want to look for at Dollar Tree right now is the raffia that they are putting out and I'm telling you that because you can use this for fall crafting. So I added a little raffia bow to the front, some beautiful little rocks. Again, these are also from Dollar Tree and then I popped in a candle and voila, I have a fabulous little beach dreaming candle on a budget. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to take a super simple little Dollar Tree picture frame. This is one of their 5 by 7 picture frames. It's kind of this like Frenchy farmhouse, beachy vibe, bluish gray. Well, I'm taking some of these cute little seashells and I'm just going to pop them onto the corner of the frame. And I think this makes the perfect memento for when you've spent some time on the beach, you come back with that cute little family photo and you just want to have something to decorate. Or maybe you live at the beach and you need some fun new little beach decor. 
decor, or maybe you have a friend or a family member that you like to make this for, or maybe just like me and you want to do some beach dreaming and hope that maybe you'll get to the beach this year. But anyway, use some of those Dollar Tree seashells, pop it on with some hot glue. You can mix in jewels. You can mix in some sea glass, whatever floats your boat. Use some of your actual beach mementos that you get from the beach if you actually do go. But anyway, have fun with it. Get creative and go for it. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others You said my how to make a super easy deco mesh Dollar Tree summer wreath. Okay, so from the Dollar Tree, you're gonna grab six rolls of deco mesh. I'm making this kind of a fun in the sun beach wreath. So I'm taking two rolls of the deco mesh. I'm pinching them together and then adding a zip tie into that center prong. And then you're gonna make like a little poof and you're going to do the same thing, pinch it together and add a zip tie to that center prong. And you just wanna keep making little poofs. This is what I call my poof wreath. It's pretty fail proof, I promise you guys. At the end of this, it's gonna be nice and full and deco meshy and poofy. I'm not sure either one of those things are words, but hey, you guys know wh I, where I'm getting with this. Okay, so the Dollar Tree wreaths have, and they're a 14 inch form, but they have these little prongs. And so you can just easily follow along where that little centerpiece prong is and just make poofs and go completely around the entire wreath. And then you just keep working that mesh, pulling those poofs out, adding the zip tie and then doing that over and over again until you get the thickness that you desired. And then I'll show you guys towards the end of this tutorial, a fun little way to fill out your deco mesh um, poofy wreath to make sure that you don't have any like gaping holes where you can see that wreath form. So this is kind of just a speeded up version, but again, I'm just doing the same thing in the same spot, pulling those poofs out adding zip ties and then trimming those off and then just doing that over and over. So we're gonna do that with um, four rolls total for this wreath. Now, this is not hard. I really always start, try to encourage you guys because deco mesh can be really intimidating. I don't know why it always was for me, but I want you guys to know that it's actually one of the least intimidating things to work with with crafting. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna pull it out and then add another little poof, but I'm gonna kind of make that poof stick out just a little bit. But again, just continue um, adding those poofs as you go along, and it's gonna look a little bit messy before we get finished, so just trust the process. Anyway, going back to deco mesh being intimidating. Try not to be intimidated by deco mesh. It's really not as scary as you think. I promise you cannot mess this up. It's actually really forgiving because it's so poofy. And you can just kind of add in more deco mesh <laughs> wherever you feel like you need it. And the other thing is it's, it's very pliable. So you guys can kind of ply it around. Now, I'm taking this Dollar Tree deco mesh these are the last two rolls. We used six total for one wreath and you just make a big giant loopy bow. So that's how I then go in and cover up where those zip ties were. And you're gonna make about four of these with two rolls of mesh. You can probably get six out of them if you make them just a little bit smaller, but you just take the deco mesh, you loop it over on itself, pinch it in the center to just make like a little bow there. 
super easy. And then you just keep going around it until your wreath looks nice and fluffy and full and poofy, poofy, poo. And we, you can add in, okay, so this is the great part about Decomish. Once you get to this space and you already have everything pretty much on here, you can add more ribbon, you can add bows, you can add signs. And these are so great to make for really any season. So Dollar Creek Tree has this cute sun and sand wreath or um, sign. And so I just tie that onto it. And then I'm adding this cute little starfish. I'm going to take and make a really easy loopy bow using some Dollar Tree ribbon. You measure it from your hand to your elbow. And then you just take the ribbon and loop it over on itself. And this ribbon is from Dollar Tree and it already has wire in it. So you're going to use the entire roll. And you do want to make your wreath bows for a deco mesh wreath a little bit larger than you might normally make it. Because when you drop it down into the deco mesh, it's going to kind of eat a little bit of the size. And you guys know I love big wreaths or I love big bows and I cannot lie. <laughs> Um, but anyway, you're going to take a zip tie, zip tie that off, and I'm just adding it in to this little spot to the side of the wreath, and then I'm going to give it a nice zhuzhing. Now, you really want to zhuzhi up your bows. That's really the secret to your bow. So when you fluff it out, you're going to want to kind of work around with it. Twist those loops, play with them, twist them a little bit more, really get intentional about fluffing your bow and then you think you're done fluffing fluff a tiny bit more that's always been my motto whoops there went a roll flying off of there and boom check this out now i do like to add a little bit of detail ribbon and this is just kind of some mermaid cute little beachy ribbon i'm going to tie it in like a double loop bow so it's just like you'd be tying your shoelaces but we're going to use two um pieces of ribbon to do that and then you're going to hot glue that i'm just putting it into the center part of the um, bow to give it some dimension and then dollar tree's been carrying these little starfish i'm going to hot glue some of those into my wreath and bam i have a fun in the sun wreath this is going to go out on my patio it is currently pouring rain today i wanted to share with you guys some little patio updates that i have going on i haven't really done much new out there um, except for try to keep it clean i don't know if you guys have been getting a lot of rain but we have been getting a ton of rain so drop your weather report down in the comment section below I always love to hear where everybody's from and what kind of weather we have going on if you're new to my channel I love to craft and decorate on a budget and I just love to share those things with you I want to give you guys a space where you can just come and re come and unwind from your day from the stresses of your day where you can rejuvenate yourself by creating fun little things on a budget and my crafts are not perfect most crafts aren't perfect I don't sell my crafts I just keep them to enjoy so I hope you guys can enjoy them and be inspired and encourage others in your life or make something for others um, so super fun and fabulous on a total budget this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how you can make a keepsake little mirrored tray. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree jar, and this is just one of those craft jars, and I'm going to put some seashells in it that we had collected um, from Florida last year. I'm going to put some little stones in here as well, and some more seashells, just really layering it up. I don't know if you guys are like me, but you go to the beach with your kiddos or your grandkids, you collect a lot of seashells, you're not always quite for sure how you want to display them. This is a fun little easy idea so you've got your little keepsake seashells and you can hot glue them to one of those Dollar Tree plastic plates you also might want to use a bonding glue if you're going to be using this like in a highly trafficked space um, and then I'm just going to hot glue a mirror on top of that but this is just basically going to be like a decorative tray I also like to really layer um, little plates on top of that and then we're just going to use a Dollar Tree candlestick I may have done it in reverse next time um, terrible angle here gosh don't look too close close at that but <laughs> my goodness anyway crafting with mirrors right um so I flip that candlestick upside down and then I'm going to pop this mirror on top of here and bam look at what we have you guys we have a cute little mirror tray I think these are great for a beauty space because you could hang little dainty earrings from it put some pretty jewelry on that put some beachy seashell um 
goodies on there or just whatever you love. Now I do have this breathe sign on top, which is making it like look a little bit tilty. I think this sign was too heavy. I'm going to share with you guys how to make that breathe sign in another video, but I thought this was just a fun, fabulous little idea on a budget. And then you've got your little beachy goodies underneath there. And it's a way to display your keepsakes. You guys could also, you know, glue your seashells to some pretty little Dollar Tree frames. I love having memories like that. And then also finding a way to use them. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how to make a super adorable little Dollar Tree beachy welcome sign. So from the Dollar Tree, you're going to grab a welcome sign, and I'm using this fun little beachy one. And then I'm using two of these galvanized metal tin signs. I grabbed these and I didn't quite know what I wanted to do with it, but once I saw this larger sign, I really felt like it would be cute to trim it out in some galvanized metal wording. I'm trying to do kind of a beach theme out on my patio, so I thought this would be just perfect for it um, and I'm gonna hot glue um, the metal sign to each end of the sign and that's just gonna kind of frame it out and help it look just a little bit more high-end and fun um, I love the Dollar Tree um, larger signs like this but I always feel like they need just a little bit something more sometimes so this was just a fun way to jazz that up the next thing I wanted to do is I have these cute little um, starfish and they're kind of just like the wooden cutouts now you could easily make a cute little garland but I decided to take these and hot glue them to the front of my welcome sign to kind of give it a little bit of a 3D effect. And then once I had these all glued down, I decided to take some Waverly chalk paint. My sweet friend Stacy sent this to me. Thank you so much, Stacy. And it is in the color pool, and it is so pretty, you guys. I really need to find something like big that I can paint in this blue color. I feel like this blue color is so soothing and it just gives me all those peaceful beachy vibes. And actually, you know what? I just realized what I need to paint in this color. I have an unfinished kind of reclaimed wood table that my mom built. I think she built it. Um, and it somehow ended up at my house in one of her last moves. And it would be so pretty to do this really pretty beach theme. In fact, I think I just got super inspired on how I want to look for my next decor I think maybe I want to start making my outdoor patio this year look like I'm at the beach okay for everybody that lives at the beach I love the beach you guys I'm gonna get to go thankfully and blessed enough at the end of June I love Florida I live down there in my early 20s and I love to vacation there every year it just makes my heart so happy something about the ocean and the sand and I know it's not for everybody, but for me, ah, oh, you guys, I can just feel it. I can hear the sound of the ocean. I can feel how my body relaxes when I'm there and how I just really enjoy taking that time, um, just being on the beach and having fun. So here's that welcome sign, fun and fabulous on a budget.
For this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to share with you guys a fun little way to jazz up those Dollar Tree galvanized buckets. So this galvanized bucket is so cute and they're actually putting out different ones and these were beet themed, which they had such a huge beet theme um, vibe at Dollar Tree this year and I was so excited to find some of it. You know, sometimes I go into my Dollar Tree and it is wiped out. I mean, the shelves are completely bare. So I know a lot of you all comment that you can't find anything. Trust me when I tell you that we have the same problem at our Dollar Tree, but every once in a while, <laughs> that once in a blue moon, I'll walk in there and it's like a magical fairy has just laid out all kinds of goodies. So I was able to find these little tins and I'm using this pretty Waverly chalk paint. This is from my friend Stacy. I think she got it at Walmart, but it is in the color pool and I think it it is so beautiful. The color is just so amazing. It's so peaceful. And so I'm just going to take a little sponge brush. I got these from Dollar Tree. I'm just a sponge brush. Um, one light layer of chalk paint on these. I don't want them to be too heavy. I still want it to kind of appear like a little bit washed out and beachy, but I did want to give it just a little bit of color, I guess. And since I am kind of doing this pretty blue beachy vibe, I just thought this would be so, so pretty. And then I have this cute little mermaid ribbon. I thought it would be fun to jazz this up. So I'm going to make these like kind of some cute little rose floral planter decor ideas. I'm going to trim this off and then hot glue this to the front of my little pool um, buckets and what I want to do is put some pretty white peaceful roses in these another fun idea is you guys could use these to store crafting supplies under the sink dish supplies just anywhere that you know your home needs a cute little cottagey beachy feel or space to it and so I'm just going to hot glue that to the front of this tin as well and bam there you guys have that so cute and then I'm going to tie a little burlap bow to the front of that and again there are so many ideas for how you can use these little organizing buckets so I think they're super cute fun and easy on a total budget For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to share with you how you can take two Dollar Tree signs and really jazz them up and maybe customize them to suit your decor. So for this one, I actually have this cute little um, C sign. It's like one of the stacked Dollar Tree signs. And when I picked it up, I didn't realize that part of it was like kind of broken off the front. So I decided to chalk paint that base and I'm going to add the breathe part to the base of that. So something I've really been trying to do this year is slow down. <laughs> to slow down and take a deep breath and to try to really just embrace, I guess, the moments in my life. I feel like I have been running a little bit at like a breakneck speed, um, especially with running my own business and creating and um, being a mama and all of those things. So maybe just for this DIY, we just all need to kind of relax and watch me paint and just breathe. Do you ever catch yourself through the day feeling so stressed out and having so much anxiety and you just realize like you're not even for sure that you're really breathing? <laughs> I know that happens to all of us, especially us women. And so this is your reminder right now to just be still and take some deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. That's like a yoga breath that I learned. So Anyway, enough with all that. <laughs> I'm going to take this now that it's chalk painted and just hot glue it to the base of this sign. I didn't paint around the top or 
even um, the inside part of this because I am going to use these little roses and I wanted the roses to kind of offset and these are wooden roses they come in a four pack at Dollar Tree but I wanted them to kind of offset the interior part almost like the breathe sign had a shadow to it and then I'm just hot gluing these to the base of those so anyway um, what are some, here's, so here's the secret question for today while I'm working on this, I'm going to ask you guys, what are some of the ways that you all like to slow down, drop it in the comment section down below. I need to start back on some of my giveaways. I haven't done one in a while. Um, but I would love to hear how you are able to find that calm center in your space. Like maybe when you're having a crazy day, you've over scheduled yourself, you have stressful things going on. You're trying to deal with something that maybe is upsetting you. How do you find your calm center? I know for me recently, I've really been working out a lot and that has really been helping me. Um, but I would love to hear from you. Do you enjoy cooking, crafting? Of course, I love to craft. That really helps me find my calm center and it helps me just feel um, like I'm doing something good by giving back with my crafting. So another funny thing I have to share with you guys is here. Okay. So my dog, Benji bear, if you guys are new here, I have a puppy dog, Benji bear. This is his best friend. The black dog is baby Theo. He is a mini Aussie Australian shepherd. So he is my son's dog and it's my son and his girlfriend. Um, so his name is baby Theo. And then we have Benji bear <laughs> and they are best friends. You guys, they are so, so funny. And there was a time when they first got baby Theo that Benji bear was bigger than baby Theo. But of course, as you guys can see now, baby Theo is like three times as big as Benji bear, but they're really funny. So he, baby Theo is what I would officially call, I guess, my grand dog. And then Benji Bear right here is my puppy dog. So I know there's some Benji Bear fans out there. Here is his best bud, his best friend. You guys can hear him right now, baby Theo. So anyway, I love y'all so, so much. I hope you're having a gorgeous, blessed day. And until our next video, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And thank you guys really for being here. All your comments like truly mean the world. So many of these DIYs that you're going to see are Pottery Barn inspired. I love it seeing what they're up to, including this beautiful blue piece of artwork that we created using Dollar Tree supplies. On their website, it was $600, but we're going to do it for just a couple dollars. Okay, you guys, so we are going to take a piece of Dollar Tree poster board, and I just have some water, a paintbrush, a paint plate and several different colors. Now, these are the Apple Barrel acrylic paints from Walmart. I have Cool Blue and Key West. And then I had a company by the name of Arteza send me some acrylic colors. These are both blues. So we're going to create this beautiful piece of wall art. I'm just taking this thrift store frame and I'm marking it out. Now I'm going to tell you guys before you guys paint your picture, definitely cut your poster board out to fit the size of your frame. I learned that the hard way and it almost became a craft disaster. But what I want to do for this Pottery Barn inspired piece is I did pull up the Pottery Barn art. So I had something to kind of reference and I'm just making some beautiful clouds. So basically this scene was, was clouds in the sky and then just kind of a real whimsical kind of beachy space. So I'm just using circular motions and I'm using some of the aqua and the blue paints mixed in with some of the whites. So just get creative with this. It does not have to be perfect. Once I painted a bunch of the swirly kind of clouds in the sky, I want to just paint a darker blue line across the bottom portion of my piece of poster board. So this is just poster board from the Dolly Tree and some acrylic paints. And for the clouds, I was doing a circular motion. So I'll go in with some blue and then I'll blend it in with some whites. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because clouds aren't perfect and they're constantly changing. So just use some blues and some whites and blend in a circular motion. And then for our ocean part or sea or lake or whatever body of water you prefer, we're going to just go ahead and do that darker blue line. And then I'm taking some white and I'm kind of blending underneath that blue line. Then I'm going in with some of that Key West Apple Barrel paint underneath that and then a little bit of the darker blue over that. Again, I'm just doing layers across the entire portion to just kind of give that um, feeling of waves. And again, this doesn't 
doesn't have to be perfect. So I dip my brush in a little bit of water also to kind of blend those acrylic paints if they get to be a little bit sticky and don't want to blend as much. And I like a really whimsical kind of dreamy um, look for my art. So, but you guys can be more precise and um, how whatever suits your fancy you guys just go for it now I'm blending a darker blue over on this side and I did go ahead and add some sand to this side I washed out my brush I mixed a little bit of white paint and a little bit of some espresso apple barrel craft paint from Walmart and here it is my beautiful piece of beach wall art it went into this frame after a bit of a struggle so definitely you guys cut out your piece of poster board before you start painting and make sure you get it fit into your frame. So I hope you guys are loving this. This is such a fun way to redecorate your home. And if you guys go to Walmart, the Apple Barrel Craft Paint. Next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all a super adorable summer sign. So from the Dollar Tree, you're going to grab one of these larger summer signs. This one has a little seashell um, on the end of it. And then I have one of these little Dollar Tree anchors. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint this with some of that Waverly Blue Sky Chalk Paint. I ended up adding a couple of coats. I thought one was going to be enough, but ended up having to paint over that a couple more times. And then I just hot glued this underneath the seashell. My idea for this is to create a little um, sign where you can clip different things to it. It's one of my favorite things to do actually. I'm probably going to use this in my kitchen and clip some of my prayer cards or my kiddos pictures on here. But I've got these cute little clips and they have starfish on the end. And so I'm just going to hot glue these to the top and the side. I ended up adding two that way whatever I clip to it will stay even. That kind of drives me a little bit crazy when I'm clipping things and they don't stay even. Now I get my prayer cards from the Dollar Tree. A lot of you all ask me about these. I share a good morning prayer card with you every single morning on my Instagram story. So pop over to my Livy's Romantic Home Instagram and check out my story. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip these to my little starfish creation here. And bam, we have a fun and fabulous little summer sign on a total budget. I think this is so pretty. I think this would also be really beautiful in a bathroom. In fact, I think I might actually put this in my bathroom. That way I can have a good morning prayer card every morning in my bathroom and even just change it out weekly. I probably won't get to doing a daily prayer card in my bathroom, but listen, it's so helpful to just have these reminders kind of sprinkled around your house. And I find my prayer cards at the Dollar Tree in the checkout aisle. So I know some of you guys have been looking for them. Keep an eye out in your checkout aisle or worst case scenario, ask the staff and they might help you be able to find them. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to show you guys how to make a super adorable little mermaid summer sign. So I'm going to take one of these longer signs from Dollar Tree, and I did turn it sideways, but I want to kind of jazz this little mermaid sign up a bit, maybe like something you would find at TJ Maxx or Hobby Lobby. I added some hot glue to the back of the mermaid sign. It's nice and lightweight. And I thought that this um, brown sign could kind of be the border. Now I wanted to cover up the sideways um, uh, little seahorse here, so I'm adding in this burlap trim and I'm just wrapping it around the entire thing until I get to the end of this. And then I'm going to add some super adorable starfish. I thought about adding the wooden roses to this creation, but I really just felt like it needed to stay kind of simple. This again would be a fun and easy little craft to do with some kiddos as far as like wrapping the string wouldn't be a hard part. I'll be super supervised with the glue gun and then I'm just adding some of these little starfish now the starfish are coming at four to a pack and I am loving them actually maybe it's three to a pack anyway super adorable and I think it makes it look really fun and beachy and this would be just such an easy little idea to do for a bathroom or a kiddo's room you could even add a little bow or some sparkle glitter to the mermaid part if you have a really sparkly mermaid in your family um, my daughter never really super got into mermaids but I've always been somewhat fascinated by them and I think if you're doing if you live by the beach I think this would be fun or if you have a mermaid fan or you just want a festive little fun kind of beachy piece for uh, summertime this is an easy a go-to creation
for this Dollar Tree DIY. I want to show you guys how to make a super adorable little Dollar Tree beachy welcome sign. So from the Dollar Tree, you're going to grab a welcome sign and I'm using this fun little beachy one. And then I'm using two of these galvanized metal tin signs. I grabbed these and I didn't quite know what I wanted to do with it. But once I saw this larger sign, I really felt like it would be cute to trim it out in some galvanized metal wording. I'm trying to do kind of a beach theme out on my patio. So I thought this would be just perfect for it. Um, and I'm going to hot glue um, the metal sign to each end of the sign. And that's just going to kind of frame it out and help it look just a little bit more high end and fun. Um, I love the Dollar Tree um, larger signs like this, but I always feel like they need just a little bit something more sometimes. So this was just a fun way to jazz that up. The next thing I wanted to do is I have these cute little um, starfish and they're kind of just like the wooden cutouts. Now you could easily make a cute little garland. But I decided to take these and hot glue them to the front of my welcome sign to kind of give it a little bit of a 3D effect. And then once I had these all glued down, I decided to take some Waverly chalk paint. My sweet friend Stacy sent this to me. Thank you so much, Stacy. And it is in the color pool, and it is so pretty, you guys. I really need to find something like big that I can paint in this blue color. I feel like this blue color is so soothing and it just gives me all those peaceful beachy vibes. And actually, you know what? I just realized what I need to paint in this color. I have an unfinished kind of reclaimed wood table that my mom built. I think she built it. Um, and it somehow ended up at my house in one of her last moves. And it would be so pretty to do this really pretty beach theme. In fact, I think I just got super inspired on how I want to look for my next decor I think maybe I want to start making my outdoor patio this year look like I'm at the beach okay for everybody that lives at the beach I love the beach you guys I'm gonna get to go thankfully and blessed enough at the end of June I love Florida I live down there in my early 20s and I love to vacation there every year it just makes my heart so happy something about the ocean and the sand and I know it's not for everybody, but for me, ah, oh, you guys, I can just feel it. I can hear the sound of the ocean. I can feel how my body relaxes when I'm there and how I just really enjoy taking that time, um, just being on the beach and having fun. So here's that welcome sign, fun and fabulous on a budget. For the first Dollar Tree hack, I wanted to share with you all that you can actually take a Dollar Tree pool noodle, put each end together, and then either using packing tape or duct tape, just tape the two ends together, and that's going to create a wreath form base. And these are super fun and great for the outdoors area. I'm now taking three Dollar Tree uh, lays. These are just lays that you would use like a luau lay, and I'm going to to begin to pull the flowers off. So all you have to do is take your scissors and cut one end of the lay and then the little flowers will pull all the way off. I wanted to do this and I actually ended up using four. So I used a hot pink, a light pink, the white with the yellow, and then also a green. So I just disassembled the entire thing and then I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm gonna add a line of hot glue and then just begin to take the florals from the lay and push them onto the wreath. So so in our backyard, we have created kind of a little backyard. We call it our little backyard resort. I didn't know initially how long the um, quarantine lockdown was going to be. So I ordered a pool for my kiddos and we've really had a lot of fun as a family using it and just making our backyard into a fun space to be that's entertaining for the summer and also safe. So I thought this would be perfect. We're doing kind of like just a little bit of a backyard. Um, I wouldn't really say luau, but just making it fun. Like if you would go to a fun little family resort. So we want to make it feel fun and family resort. Anyway, long story short, I thought this wreath would be just so perfect. And so I'm just continuing to add in the florals. Now the hot glue does melt the foam on um, the little round pool noodle, but that's okay. It kind of gives an indention and it gives you somewhere to stick the florals. Be careful when you're doing this. You may want to wear the little finger 
protective covers um, because there is a lot of gluing involved, but it is well worth it. And for the couple of dollars you're going to spend, you're going to get a really unique wreath and so fun and fabulous. And I've actually never made one of these before, so I was excited. Now, I originally was just going to use one layer of florals, but I decided I really wanted to cover more of the pool noodle to make it look like really florally and like something you would see at a resort. So I ended up adding a layer all the way on the inside of the wreath and also on the outside of the wreath. And here is what your beautiful floral luau wreath is going to look like. And again, I did add another layer on the outside. So for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I wanna make a beautiful bow. And some of you all had asked for me to share how to use the Easy Bow Maker. I'm just using this Dollar Tree Easter ribbon. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to take your pipe cleaner and lay that first. So there are these two little prongs that your ribbon goes into. And you wanna add one prong or one one layer of ribbon and then I'm making this uh, five inches on each side. So the great thing about the Easy Bow Maker is that it is already measured out for you. So you can see here, I'm just using the five inches. So you can really gauge the length of your ribbon. Now I make the Olivia Bow myself. So I'm gonna link my huge bow making tutorial where you don't have to use a tool to make a bow, but because you all have been requesting for me to share with you how to use this, I thought we could go ahead and do it in this video. This is wired ribbon and this wired ribbon is from Dollar tree so now I'm just adding my second layer and I did it about an inch shorter than my first layer this easy bow maker actually is really really easy these little two prongs there's two sticks and they kind of act like as your hand so I'm just layering it back and forth and I will leave an easy bow maker linked in my Amazon store I think they're about 20 something dollars maybe closer to 30 actually I cannot completely remember but a fun idea especially if you have problems with your hands and you can't hold the bow very well um, or you just need that extra help this might be a great tool or option for you guys so I just continued to layer my ribbon in and I used four different loops here and each loop I made just about an inch shorter so now I've gotten to the end of my tails and I'm just gonna cut a tail here and then you can go ahead and take the uh, pipe cleaner wrap it around your bow that's what's going to secure your bow and then you can just give it a little bit of a tug here and then you can slide it off the easy bow maker now this is how I
thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I am Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I love to share with you guys how you can make your homes boutique gorgeous on a budget. I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. Now listen, I would love to invite you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel, punch the bell and click all. We'll update you every single time I post a new video. I would also love to invite you over to my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page. I share several DIY videos a day over there with you guys just to keep you inspired and also join my free little group page. You all can post photos of your home decor and DIY projects. And listen, here is my reminder for the day. No matter where you're at, keep going. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. I know we all have stuff going on, especially in the last couple of years. Everybody has had a bit of a hard time, but every day we open our eyes. It's a new day. It's God's giving us a new chance to smile, to love on one another, to pray, and to do our best. So I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. Speaking of praying, I share a good morning prayer card every single time on my Instagram story. Every morning, um, I wake up and I do that little prayer card. I make a cup of coffee and it sets my day. Even if everything's downhill from there, or sometimes it's uphill, you never know. Um, but my prayer cards are from Dollar Tree. So many of you all ask where they're from. They're from Dollar Tree. They're in the checkout stand, at least at my Dollar Tree. You can always ask the clerk too, when they might have some in or where you can find them. Um, and you can even go on Amazon and find prayer cards as well. So I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. If you all need prayer, drop them in the comment section down below. Even if nobody comments on it, it's out there. We are being prayed for, okay? Um, and remember, be kind online. You don't ever know what somebody's going through. Keep scrolling if you see something you don't love. And if you see something you love, heart it. Leave a pretty comment. Uh, blow up this comment section. It will bless not only me, but other people. So I love y'all so, so much. I'm wishing you the most gorgeous, blessed day. Until our next video, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to another. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Love.